everyone, and welcome to America's favorite game show, Can You Stump Her? With me is the show's namesake, Tracy Her. Hi, Tracy. Hello. So we're going to do a game on how to troubleshoot Teams Android devices. So instead of just going through a bunch of boring things, we're going to make it a game. And there's a couple rules. There'll be five challenges I'm going to present to you. Round one will be kind of easy up to round five, where it's just going to be pure chaos. And uh, you're going to walk us, through, walk me through. I'll be the customer. You'll be walking me through how to fix the things I've broken. You have no idea what I've broken. You're coming in with no clues, no hints, nothing. Other than round one is going to be kind of easy. The other one is time limit. This session, five minutes. You have five minutes to solve it. I think it's easy. I think you'll get it in like two, maybe even one minute. But there'll be a time limit. Now, if you win, the next time I see you, drinks on me. If I stump you on one of the five, and that includes the time limit, can be the stumper as well, you're buying the drink. Deal? Deal. Deal. I'm ready All to right. play. You're ready to play. Now, the one thing is the timer will pause whenever there's a phone reboot, or like right now when I'm going to sign into the phone for the first time. Wait until you see the problem. Once you see the problem, the timer starts. <laughs> Tracy, the problem is I just got new phones, never had phones before, and I'm trying to sign in on this phone and I can't. It's giving me an Intune error and we've never set up Intune. I asked my Intune guy, like, hey, can you help me solve uh, this Intune thing? We don't have an Intune guy because we don't have Intune. Why can I not sign into my phone? I, I'm confused. All right. Well, let's take a look. Show me so, what's going on on the, the screen of your phone. And the timer starts... Now. Ah, all right. Could not enroll in Intune. Yeah, so that last screen showed it trying to add the device to the company portal, which is Intune. So that error makes sense. So let's take a look at Intune. All right, I'm going to jump ahead. I'm saving you time, endpoint.microsoft.com. What do you want to see? Go to devices. Devices. And... Since it's enroll an enrollment error message, let's go to enroll devices. Down here. All right. And let's look at the enroll device platform restriction. Enroll device platform restrictions. Okay. Hey, okay. you have one policy there. Let's go click on all users. Yeah, we've never touched this stuff, so I don't know what what any of this stuff is. And then properties. All right. All right, so here's where we're getting blocked. You have Android Enterprise for work platform allowed, but you don't have Android Device Administrator allowed. So you either need to add the Android Device Administrator platform here or create a new policy. Well, what's the fastest way to fix this? It's, again, a brand new tenant. Can we fix it in five minutes? Yes, Or we now can. three minutes? Click Edit next to Platform Settings. All right. And click Allow next to Android Device Administrator, and then save that. So you think that's it? You think you got it fixed? I think so. <laughs> we, we're not using Intune, so why is it? Why is this even popped up? In your tenant, there is a checkbox that once you turn it on, it requires the Android device administrator to enroll. And there's no way to turn that off after it is enabled in the tenant as a global setting. So that might have been enabled a long time ago by somebody else who was Just administrating things. your environment. Yeah. Now, does it matter that I have or don't have an Intune license? Like, like I'm on an E5 right now, but what if I didn't have an Intune license? Would I have gotten this error? If No, you would not. If you don't have an Intune license, that would stop the enrollment from happening. If I wouldn't have had an Intune license, I wouldn't have had this error and I would have signed right in. Yes. And then your device would not be managed by Intune. But also removing the Intune license stops the ability to manage your laptops, your mobile devices, any other device. Hey, look at that. You're signed in. All right. You said there's a there's a fancy checkbox somewhere that, that someone checked before. Where where do I find this fancy checkbox? Uh, go up to devices, enroll devices. And back down to enroll devices. We went up a little too far. And right. go to Android enrollment and scroll down to the bottom of this. The last box here is what dictates whether your Android device administrator platform devices are going to have to enroll 
in Intune if they have an Intune license. So since this is already enabled, you don't have control of taking of of stopping the enrollment unless you remove the Intune license. It's always going to try to enroll if you have an Intune license. Now, if our crazy previous administrator hadn't ticked this box, I would have been able to sign on my phone just fine. That's correct. Even if I had an Intune license? Correct. Okay, so a combination of things caused this error. One, having ticked this box, having not enabled device administrator sign in, and having an Intune license, that combination led me to this error. Absolutely. Anything else you want to add about round one and sign in or any other sign-in problems to people who've never set up Intune in the first place? There's one more place that might be helpful to check rather than just trial and error, uh, changing things and then trying to sign in again. You go back to devices and then go to monitor. You can see, scroll down a little bit, there's an enrollment failures. Right here. uh, Log that you, yep, if you go all users, you'll probably see the error messages from you trying to sign in. You can see here and if you click on one of those, it actually tells you what you're missing. So it told you that your enrollment restriction is missing and you need a new platform. That would have been like the next place to go. Um, so this here is device cannot be enrolled. It's a different one. This device mm-hmm. can't be enrolled as a personal device. Yeah. In my earlier testing, I disabled just personal and enabled corporate devices. And I was having problems because I hadn't registered the phone as a corporate device. And it was also blocking it that way. Congratulations, Tracy. You win round one. All right. Thank you, Michael. This is Kendra. She's on a journey to visit her social network in person. Armed with her kin, the only phone with the loop, she gets priority updates from the people and things she cares about. So when her Facebook friend Questlove played an impromptu show in the park, Kendra knew about it right away. And so did everyone in her loop. Kin, a Windows phone born to manage your social life, living only on Verizon.